Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Super excited you made it here today. Today we are going to be doing a three looks, one palette situation. And we're going to be using the Bare Necessities ColourPop palette. I used this in a first impressions video um, a couple weeks ago and I asked you guys if you wanted to see more looks with it and you said yes. So we're going to do that today. Um, this is what the palette looks like in case you forget. It's super cute. It's basically me if I existed in a palette, but it's got great neutrals, some pinks, some reds, a lot of golds, browns, that kind of stuff, and it's just a really awesome palette to have on hand. I think if you have this palette, you almost don't need another neutral palette because it has all the colors you'd use. And, uh... I'm pretty into it, so I'm really excited to do these three looks for you. I'm going to do one super natural, one a little bit fancier, and then one super glam so that you have lots of options. And if you want a fourth option and you haven't watched my um, other video using this palette, my last full face first impressions video, definitely check that one out because I do a fourth look using this palette, so you have lots, lots of looks to choose from. So let's go ahead and dive into... Uh, the first look, got our palette. It looks like this. And got all my brushes. I've got my face makeup already on. Since that's not the focus of today, I'm not even gonna go into it. You can see literally any other video that I've done my face in doing the same thing. Let's do this. I wrote down which shadows I wanted to use for this look. So this look is not going to have false lashes, the other two will, but this one isn't because it's our soft glam. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. So to start, I just dropped everything on the floor. I'm going to go in with the shade Full Expose. And just put that all over the lid as my base. What do I got next? Next up, we're doing the crease. All right, all right, all right. And the brush that I used for that was my Sigma Large Shader E60. And I'm going in with an Alomar Cosmetics fluffy shading brush with the shade Banter. This is a really pretty cool tone brown. I just want to put that in the crease, really fluffy. All right, next up, I'm going to pack, I should clean my brushes more often. I'm gonna pack the shade Rumored onto the lid. It's this pretty shimmery shade. I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. These metallics are super soft and way shiny. I'm gonna take that fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna blend that softly into the crease so that it's not too shiny in the crease. So pretty and neutral. I'm gonna pop the shade Idle Hour. into my inner corner and under my brow bone. And 
And now I'm gonna do a smudged liner. So I'm gonna go in with, oh, I don't think I shared that brush with you. That was my Sigma pencil E30. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Vinylized Glossy Gel Liner in Bronzed Out. And I'm gonna do that as my smoky liner, and I'm gonna smudge it out with the IT Cosmetics 221 Eye Smudging Brush. Um, and to smudge that out, I'm going to use the color Crack On. Yep, that's what it's called. I'm going to put that on my brush and just smudge out that liner. Alright, now that we have smudged that liner out, I'm going to add a nude waterline. Just to open those eyes up a little bit more. And that, my friends, is the first shadow look. Let's pop some mascara on. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. It has a really similar wand to Better Than Sex, but the formula is a little bit wetter, um, which I like better. A little bit more wet. This grammar's good. I went to college. And I'm gonna top that off with the Buxom Extrovert Mascara. I'm gonna pop on a nude lip gloss. This is the Flesh Lip Gloss in 315, their hot sauce lip gloss. Okay, look number one, babes. This is it. for look number two so let's piece into that right now all right friends round two let's do this so I took most of my makeup off I left a little bit of mascara on my lashes but it's not gonna matter because I'm putting false lashes on with this look so I just didn't feel like rubbing all of that off my face and ruining like all of my face makeup so for this look we are going to be doing a lot of pinks so we are using this third row Yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're going to start the same way that we did last time with the base of Full Expose. I'm just to prep that lid. Since I did put um, concealer down, 
on the lid so it's a little bit sticky. Now we're gonna do my crease color and my under eye in the shade All For You. It's this really just pretty pinky purple shade. I have a light mauve. I've also not stopped watering. That's what I get for doing three looks in one day. Concentrate this more on the outer corner. I want a heavier deposit of color on the outer corner. So the lid, we're doing designer duds. That is this pretty pink gold reflect shade. I'm just gonna put that with my finger all over my lid. Guys, my nose is so itchy. What is happening? Okay. Similar in technique to what we did last time. That is so pretty because it has that pretty gold reflection. Very pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to do a liner and I'm going to use the Moda Pro Line 498 brush. And the shade Crack On. Yep, uh, yep. that's what it's called, right? Mm hmm. Uh, smoked into a wing. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm stopping that about halfway and letting it fade into the shadow. Okay, so that turned out really pretty, which means the other eye is not gonna look this good. <laughs> There is some fallout with this shade. Connect that underneath as well. That's super pretty. I'm actually gonna tap into this taboo shade to make that liner just a little bit darker. Okay, I like that. That turned out really pretty. All right, so. For our highlight, we're gonna do the Idle Hour. Just that super bright shade. So 
brighten up that inner corner. Really the brow bone. And let's throw these lashes on. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't worn lashes since the end of 100 Days of Makeup in October. So putting these on might go super poorly. We're just gonna see. We're just gonna see how it goes. I'm a little nervous. I'm using Lily Lashes in I don't remember what their name is called and they're not in their right box. So I know they're Lily Lashes and they're really, they're really natural. They came in a two pack with the Miami Lashes at Sephora and I just don't remember what they're called. Let's see how this goes. Turns out putting on lashes is like riding a bike. I don't know why I snapped like that. Those are pretty. Should have taken all that mascara off. You can see it. I'm gonna do some damage control on this lash because the mascara is super thick and you can see like dusting of shadow on it. This eye looks really good. This eye not so much. All right. Need a black eyeliner. All right. So I'm kind of gonna show you guys how I would fix something like this. It's not gonna be great, but. I'm gonna go in and add some black liner where the shadow has fallen on these lashes. That already looks better. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. But the reason that I did that was because you could see white where the lightest shadow fell on my lashes. And so I just basically covered that up it's fine in a pinch. If I were actually doing my makeup, I wouldn't have done it twice and I would have started with fresh lashes, but I didn't because I'm filming three looks at a time for you guys. So don't worry about it. So these are a little chunky, just ignore them. Look at this eye. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop on my NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. And this is basically an identical shade to that crease shade that we did. This is my favorite lip gloss formula. So pretty. Okay, so this is look number two. Okay guys, now on to the full glam look number three. Hello, hi, so fun fact, it's actually the next day. Actually two days later, I think. Um, I had filmed the first two and then my eye was really watering and it was starting to really hurt from rubbing the makeup off of it earlier so I decided to give my eyes a break and then come back fresh and finish this filming. So now that we're here sitting down let's jump into the third and final look. It's going to be the full glam look and um, it's going to be awesome. So let's do this. So we're going to start off the same way that I started off with the other ones using the shade uh, Full Exposé all over the lid. Okay. Then I am going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is the A Cosmetics fluffy brush. And I'm going to use the shade Hot Gossip in the crease and under the eye.
Okay, so then I'm going to take the shade Tabloid on a smaller blending brush and put that into the outer corner crease. My husband just took the baby and the dog for a walk and I see them walking outside. They're so cute! Bye guys! I love you! A little bit under the eyes while I'm here. I'm going to be adding a lot of depth to this look. Now I'm going to take that same shade, tabloid, on a tinier brush and just bring that in to cover the outer corner. Alright, now I'm going to take that small brush again on Taboo, which is just another dark, dark brown, um, and do it on an even smaller portion of my outer crease. The more depth we can build here, the better. I'm going to take a little bit of spyglass. It's that matte black shade. And once you have that as dark as you want it, we're gonna start dipping into metallic shades. So now I'm gonna make this kind of a gold shade, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Genie on the middle portion of my lid with my finger. And put that on underneath the eye as well. my finger with the shade Idle Hour. And put that all over the inner corner. Blend it into that gold. And then I'm going to do a liquid liner. First I'm going to do a nude line on the waterline.
I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Ultra Black Eye Definer Felt Tip Eye Marker. dramatic lip. So I'm going to throw on this purple liner from Huda Beauty. liquid lipstick. This is the this is the glam look using the Bare Necessities palette to kind of really show you guys the range that this palette can do from ultra natural to super glam. So it's the final look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one palette three way look with the Bare Necessities palette. Um, it was requested when I used it last time. Um, and I think it's always great to kind of see how a palette can do a variety of different looks. Um, this one is awesome. You can do from the barest of bare to the boldest of bold and everything in between. It truly has like a huge range of colors um, from cool tones to warm tones to pink tones and red tones um, lots of metallics that are super pigmented and creamy the mattes are blendable and easy to work with I think this is probably one of my all-time favorite palettes I am just super super impressed with the formulas I think it does an amazing job basically 
for most people who are not doing super colorful and out of the box eye looks, this is the only palette you would really need. Um, it has all your neutrals plus a couple pops of color if you really wanted to play around with it. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the palette. It's definitely made it into like one of my very top palettes. I use it almost every day right up there with my Tati Beauty palette. Um, and I am just really, really enjoying playing around with it. I think it was really fun to try and challenge myself to do three different looks with one palette and remind myself all the different ways you can do your makeup because I've really been super natural since my baby was born last summer and I'm trying to get back into doing some more glam looks, adding lashes back in a little bit again because um, I haven't worn lashes apart from this video since October. So it's just, it's been really fun to kind of play around with some makeup again and get myself out of my neutral like BB cream and mascara box that I've been in these days so I thank you to whoever suggested that um, I hope you guys had an awesome time watching this video if you haven't yet please subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload and if you want more content than what's posted on YouTube I do have a blog at blondeandambitiousblog.com that I post three times a week to plus my Instagram at blonde and ambitious blog where I post every day. So I'm always in stories and doing stuff, uh, little tutorials there as well. So check it out. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.